I'm talking about the failure of schools. One, I see a rash and people can say I'm talking out of turn, but this is what we do for a living. And we talk to these kids all day. I'm telling you right now, there is an overdiagnosis of things. Anybody who is mildly inconvenient to the system, there's a label smacked on them and they're pushed to the back of the line. That's what happens. And so I see this time and time again. The dangerous thing about labeling your children by a label that the school has given them is that the schools are failures and they're going to give your kids a label. And then you are going to use that label to limit your child before your child is even thought about what they need. Like your child has escaped school. He's 19. So he's free of this. Don't let it follow him. Rip the label off and really think about what he needs. And then think about for him, what is he willing to do or able to do to learn? And that is different for every child, which is why parents have to do this. I'm sure there's multiple diagnoses because every single kid has multiple diagnoses these days. So I did want to put a bow on what I was saying, which is talking about the limitations and specifically those limitations aren't what you as the parent think their limitations are. It's like their actual limitations. Their limitations. Yeah. Like what does ADHD mean? Yeah. Because I see people say, oh, they can't sit still. I'm like, no, no, no. What you mean is they can't sit still in school. I can't sit still in school. 